It's great to see so many supporters turning out on the Celtic way to greet the cortege of Stevie Chalmers, one of Celtic's most famous sons, of course, and the scorer of Celtic's most famous goal, most important goal, but great to see so many thousands turning out, Paul. Yeah, I mean, I think that there's obviously a certain emotion there and a connection with the Lisbon Lions and, and Stevie, obviously, as you said, the most famous, the greatest goal in our, in our history and, and you know, fans want to pay tribute to him the way they did with Billy last week and you know, it's a real, in, in some respects, a real Celtic funeral as it were, you know, we were at the, the birthplace of the club in St Mary's and now we're here, we're obviously Celtic Park where, where Stevie made his name and, you know, where he was always a supporter as much as a player. And a chance for these supporters to say a final thank you because they have they have lived off the success of the Lisbon Lions, of course, and that famous goal that we've seen thousands of times when Stevie got that touch with five minutes left in the final in 1967 to bring the big cup to paradise. And this is the fans' final chance to say thank you to Stevie, a man who lived his life very humbly. He didn't he didn't seek the spotlight. I'm sure he could have done Paul having having achieved and done what he did and and live the ultimate Celtic dream, but, it, but he didn't go looking for it. No, absolutely not. I mean, it's a really nice touch, obviously, the Stevie number nine with the star just above the, the front of the, the stadium. But, I, you know, I, I think when everybody talks about any of the Lisbon lines, it's always that they're very humble, and Stevie was somebody that always liked to, to stay in the background and, you know, wanted to share that, that limelight with the rest of his teammates and, and his friends. And, you know, he obviously did score that, that goal, and forever that will be recorded in our history books. But... He, you know, I think during the, the service they had mentioned he was a, a man of family, faith and football, which, are, you know, a lot of, of Celtic players down through the years have been and I think that was, you know, for him, his family and his faith and, and obviously he then played his football and brought so much joy to so many people. Stevie's son Paul there out just uh, gathering up some supporters' scarves that have been thrown towards the cortege. Paul, of course, on Celtic's books for a few seasons as well and he'll be proud of the Celtic supporters turning out the way they have today to say their goodbyes to Stevie, number nine, gone but never forgotten. The cortege will now make its way to a, a private family cremation. And then I think the family are coming back to Celtic Park for a, for a, a get-together. Yeah, and I think I'm sure that will bring the, the crowds here today well, brought a real measure of comfort to them. The fact that they, they know him as a, a dad, a grandfather, a great-grandfather. So much loved by, by so many people. 